All right, so today we're gonna to be learning uh, how to create videos in Lumion. The video walkthroughs, video flythroughs, and all that. So we're gonna start out, we're in uh, uh, build mode over here, and let's go over to movie tab. And down here, you're gonna have a list. Now each one of these is a single individual movie, and or single individual, uh, let's call them points, because essentially you will create your uh, streams like your your line that your camera is going through and um, with these individual sh scenes you can switch positions of where your camera is at um, that'll make a little more sense when we get into this but let's just start out with the first one so you click on this tab right here and um, yours will usually be blank down here but you'll go up to edit clip and then this is where you're gonna take you're gonna set your positions of your cameras so we're going to bring it down about right here. Then you hit take photo. And drag. And because I got screen recorder on, this is being super laggy. So let's, let's drag and position. And you can position the, the direction of the camera with the right mouse button. And you take a second photo. So down here you're collecting your images. Do a second one right here, or a third one right here. It really does not like having the two programs running at the same time. All right, let's do the last one right here. Okay, so now you got four individual shots, and you can run that back to have it fly through them. Okay, so we're going to pause that right there. Over here you can slow down the speed at which the video is played, so we're going to do half speed and it'll just run through those clips at half speed. Let's pause that, hit back. And so we have this first video. Now, if you wanna just save this video into a clip, you can, you can click right here and do create movie from clip. And then you can set your, I, I'll usually do mine at 30 frames per second. That's usually good enough. And then if you wanna make sure that you get the good quality, you get your, your light, your global illumination, you have to have the, the three star quality. And 720p is honestly good enough. If you're not gonna be showing this video on a like, large TV, 720p is gonna look fine on any computer. And uh, so then you can just, let's just do 20, five, and then just so that we can go through this real quick, we'll do one star and then uh, hit okay and um, you can name your video whatever let's just do uh, tech toots desktop save your video now the thing that I don't really like well I guess it's good and bad but in Lumion Lumion uses your graphics card just completely so it renders actually really fast compared to other uh, systems that use your CPU to do your rendering, but you can't leave this window. So I can't come out so, and go to my, you know, my web browser and browse the web while this is rendering, because uh, it'll typically usually stop the rendering. There we go. And that's just going to save it to the file that we saved it as. We're going to escape, stop the render, hit escape. Okay, now there's a few more things I want to talk about. Um, so what we can do is we can create a second video, so a second stream. And what I was talking about earlier is, so we're going to hit record. And let's say we wanted to do like a drop down effect. Spin. Spin this camera, come up. Come up. So we'll just do a take a photo here. And take a photo here. Okay, and then let's just hit save. 
And so we have two videos and those videos will combine to make a full video. So it's going to come through. I still have it set at half speed. So let's edit that, edit clip right here. Turn that back up to full speed, hit back. All right, now let's play it. So it's going to play through this whole video. And now it's playing, let's see. Okay, entire movie. You gotta have this button click to watch the entire movie. So let's hit play. It's gonna combine these clips. So that's cool if you're doing like a, a really large project and you want to show like four different corners of the project and you want to you don't want to have to fly all the way to the other side of the of the property you just show one side and then you add other clips here and that way your stream your camera line is not uh, is not all attached to one camera rig and so let's pause that uh, I'm going to show you some effects real quick because uh, that's what really is going to make your, your video look classy. So just just click on one for now and let's hit new effect right up here. And let's do a in and out fade. And so, I mean, you'll have to play around with all of these different features, but as we play that, it's going to show that black fade. As you saw, let's take this one off. Move. Show you a few more. Just to get you acquainted. New effect. Now you can only do one effect per, not one effect, but you can only use the effect once. So once you've used that effect, um, you can't use it again. Let's do that one right there. We're gonna play that. No effect. Some artistic ones, God rays, sketch style, um, objects. If you want to have cars moving in your in your video, you will basically set a position point. So if I wanted to have somebody walking, and actually that's a whole video in and of itself, so I'll actually create a separate um, tutorial for that. But for now, you just have the basics of creating a video and exporting a video. And I don't know about you, but if I wanted to get rid of this whole video, you should just be able to hit remove clip, but it's never worked for me. It just freezes up. So if, if anybody else is having that problem, let me know. Because I've always had to come in and edit the clip and I just have to delete every single frame and that could be annoying. Actually, real quick, if you wanted to add a frame and say right here, you could delete this frame if you didn't like it, or you can update this frame if you just wanted to bring it over just a little bit. And let's update it. And so it's gonna play from there instead. You get the gist of that. Also, if I wanted to insert a frame, you could hit this right here. So if you wanted it to go a slower transition between here and here, you could uh, bring this over a little bit. Assuming the computer can handle it. And you can insert a frame right there. Okay, hope that helps, and I will see you next time.